All right, we're going to be looking at replacing one of these. This is a positive crankcase ventilation valve. It pretty much does what it says. It ventilates the crankcase of an engine, which is the main sort of body of the engine. Uh, this is for a Ford Mustang GT. Uh, we have a 2003. I believe it fits 99 to uh, 04, give or take. This is a uh, Ford Motorcraft uh, OEM parts EV261, so that fits that car. This is what it looks like, and that is the sign of a brand new valve that should work correctly. Uh, on the Mustangs, there's an electrical inlet here that allows a heating element to heat uh, the actual valve uh, to prevent uh, blockage of the valve in action. So, let's check it out. Okay, so we're under the hood of a 2003 Mustang GT V8. You can see right there, there is the existing PCV valve. If I just move that to the side, you can see the electrical inlet in white there. And it is plugged right into the crankcase, which is this big body of engine right there. So that is where it's located on the core. To access it, I'm hoping we don't have to move any of this uh, work here we can just kind of pop this up and access it from this side let's see how that goes I think we'll be okay with that otherwise you're gonna have to remove all this stuff and access it that way so we don't want to be doing that right now okay so what are the signs of a bad PCV valve well PCV valve should be changed roughly around every 50,000 miles on a good running engine uh, a bad sign uh, to look for is oil escaping the valve so you can see the valve plugged into the crack case here this is the old one this is the other side of the valve we have a look you can see let's try this side I know there was some because I cleaned it out earlier you can see some oil in there that is a sign that your existing PCV valve may be bad because the job of the valve is to ventilate the air from the crankcase so as you accelerate and decelerate naturally pressure builds up inside the crankcase and the job of the PCV valve is to ventilate this air and not actually let any oil through but you can see there's oil in the air system here uh, so that is a, a bad sign Okay, another bad sign of um, a failing PCV valve is uh, oil leaks because if the valve doesn't open and allow air to escape, uh, the pressure inside the engine gets quite high and if there's no outlet for this pressure through the PCV valve, uh, all your gaskets, the seals, everything that holds this engine together, it's going to start seeping oil and this is how you can get oil leaks uh, with this particular car here you can see we have a nice little patch on the driveway and that is another sign that your PCV valve could be bad uh, they are very inexpensive um, on this particular car it has the electrical inlet uh, which increases the price and we did go um, OEM which is Ford Motorcraft so we bought from Ford the problem with getting aftermarket PCV valves is they're not calibrated uh, correctly for the specific model of car because we're buying official Ford it's calibrated uh, to our specifications for example when you decelerate accelerate the PCV valve uh, uh, ventilates the air according to the pressure within the engine okay my hammer is simply too fat to get in here so um, I just unscrewed this uh, and lifted it out of the way so I can sort of sneak snake my hand under there. Uh, to get the electrical kip off you see this little toggle at the back right here. Just push that down and it pops right off there. Now you can access the PCV valve. It comes off uh, anti-clockwise or counterclockwise. So just give it a good grab. Try not to break it and give it a turn. Be patient with it. <laughs> Try not to break it, it might be kind of hard to uh, get the rest out, but here's the old one. Uh, it, it shakes, which is a good sign. It doesn't necessarily tell you if it's broken or not. 
uh, I won't go into detail and sometimes you can blow in one end and not the other as a valve should but always that is not the case with PCB valves that are all de designed differently you'll find you can blow in both sides quite fine but uh, yeah this is our old one just taking it out so we're gonna pop the new one back in which looks exactly the same okay one more thing if you know your valve is good uh, you can give it uh, a good clean with some carb cleaner, carburetor cleaner and pop it back in um, obviously if it's bad uh, get a new one make sure it's a exact fit again as I mentioned don't go aftermarket because these are calibrated based on your engine and they're not they're not really a great choice to be honest but um, your mileage may vary so we're just going to pop the new one back in in reverse order then we're good to go